Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Conor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper at the highest level of international football. Last week's vlog, you saw my first ever game in the Gibraltar Premier League. Clean sheet, man of the match, team of the week. It was a great start to the season for Europa Point FC and for myself personally, it was exactly the kind of start that I wanted to achieve in week one. So this week, my dad's been over for the weekend. We've hired an Airbnb, as you can see, which is a little bit posher than where I've been staying with all the lads in San Roque. So it's been a nice break, a nice chance to relax. Got a little pool behind us, got the sea in the background. Got the nice villas, little golf course down there. So it's been a very happy weekend with my dad. Been nice seeing him, nice chilling, relaxing. It's been a long three weeks since I left England, so it was very nice to have him over for the weekend. But in this week's episode of Keeping Goals, I need to tell you about what happened in match day two of the Gibraltar Premier League. <sighs> Football has a very funny way of bringing you back down to earth very, very quickly. Week one was almost perfect. Clean sheet, man of the match. Managed to get into team of the week for the league despite not winning the game, drawing nil-nil. As I said to you in episode one, I wanted to be the best keeper in the league. I wanted to show people what I could do. I wanted to keep clean sheets. It was a great start. And I think the message of this video is what happened next is perfect for me as a goalkeeper, for you as a goalkeeper, to learn about life and about football. Game day two against Lynx. And they won their first game 5-1, so we knew that they were gonna be a step up from what we faced the week before. We prepared well, I was training well, playing well. I was full of confidence, having performed well the week before. First half of the game was much the same. Performed very well, made lots of very good saves, and I felt on top of my game. And then right at the end of the first half, Lynx got a breakaway, 1v1 on the angle, had an option to square it. I gave him the decision, you're either gonna have to square it for your mate to tap it in, or you're gonna have to put it top corner. And to be fair to the lad, he put it top corner. We were unlucky to go in 1-0 down at half time. And then it all fell apart. We conceded four goals in nine minutes in the second half. The reason being we fell apart defensively. My fault as a leader, as a goalkeeper, once one goal goes in, I need to make sure that I tighten everything up, that I make us for at least five minutes hard to beat, no risks, close as a back four, midfield nice and tight in front of them. You've conceded a goal, the next thing that you need is security. So to concede four in nine minutes, we haven't done our job as a team to tighten things up after one goal goes in, let alone three or four. The majority of the goals, actually all of the goals, were within eight yards of the goal. They were 3v1 counter-attacks, players bursting through into the box, squaring it for their mate to tap in back post, pulling it back to score from the penalty spot. And the most frustrating thing is, I couldn't do much about any of the goals. I actually thought I played well in the game. What I didn't do well was make sure that the team was solid and hard to beat when we were going through a difficult stage in the match. The main thing that I wanted to discuss is the mental aspect of being a goalkeeper. To go from clean sheet, man of the match, team of the week, to losing 5-0. How do you deal with that mentally? Because initially I was embarrassed. And that was my first reaction after the game. Being embarrassed for myself, being embarrassed for the team. We've set big goals as a team for us to achieve this season. And none of those goals are gonna be completed if we keep losing and performing like that. It's very easy to have those thoughts enter your head and go, everyone's gonna be thinking you're rubbish. You've conceded five goals. They're gonna think that the week before was a fluke. Look at his stats, five goals against in one game, that's terrible. People watching my performances, my stats will go, ooh, what was that? So what do you do? How do you approach it from a mental sports psychology perspective? My focus, first of all, was how did I perform as an individual? Did I do the basics right? Did I make any key mistakes? What can I work on from the game? And I go through it, as you've seen when I analyze my games, I go through the game, I write in my diary what I did well, what I did badly, what I can improve on. The next thing that goalkeeping teaches you over and over again is you're never up here, you're never down here, 
you're always in the middle. When people are saying you the best thing since sliced bread, when they put you in the team of the week, when you win clean sheets, you win games, don't let yourself get carried away with that positivity. Enjoy it, celebrate it, because those are the times that we aim for and that we work for, but don't get too carried away. And at the same time, when you lose 5-0 and things are against you and people say you're rubbish, you're never as bad as they say you are. You're always, at some point, in the middle. And that is the most important thing to take from this week. That one week it can be up here, one week it can be down here, but as long as you're working every day with the same consistency, the same intensity, still trying to improve every single day, that's your middle. A long period of time working like that, you will have a lot more ups than you will downs. The downs will come, but you have to deal with them. Don't let your ego get in the way and take it as an opportunity to help you improve and to help you move forward. Excuse the t-shirt change. I had a little bit of time where I had to upload a vlog. Episode one went out today. Hope you all enjoyed it when you watched it. Flashback. So we have the premiere of series three, episode one. Jack's come to watch it. Yeah. Everyone else is about to watch. Let's go. Excited to see what you all think. That's wicked. You're friended all this. That's wicked. That was brilliant. Oh, good, isn't it? I'm hooked. I'm hooked. <laughs> it really makes you want to watch them all because it's just like, what? You know what I mean? That's yeah. brilliant. So, premiere done. Amazing. Love what do you think, Jack? It was brilliant. Got a lot of comments. Really interesting. And now I'm hooked as well. <laughs> was that your first keeping goals? Episode? That was my first, uh, yeah, admittedly so, my first keeping goals. But so not, you, not my last. What do you think? Yeah, really good, informative, not long, not too long, Yeah, not too short, brilliant, like really well done. Editing, amazing, shout out to the... Uh, shout out to Johnny for the editing. Out, yeah, yeah. And we'll set Jack some homework of watching some of series two yeah. before, <laughs> before next week's yeah, episode. <laughs> for all of you that came and watched the premiere, thank you very, very much. Really glad you enjoyed it. On to episode two next week. <laughs> End of flashback. So where do we go from here? We now have a three week break between games mainly because we have one week break for international break we also have two more weeks break because teams have dropped out of the league for our next game which is against Europa who are probably on form at the minute the best team in the league that's the aim over the next three weeks to get together as a team to work together as a squad and perform to the best of our ability against Europa in September because dad's here it's been nice, I've been able to take him along to training sessions. Hello Dad. Hello. We are walking across the Gibraltar runway, which is the way that I go to training. If you can see, just behind us is the border crossing. That's Spain. We then cross the Gibraltar border and we walk over this, which is the runway. If you can see, it carries on that way by the sea. Walk over the runway and then head towards the stadium for training. What do you think of our new route to first training? First time I've ever walked across the runway. <laughs> the first time I've ever walked across the runway. And the first time I've walked across the runway to go to football training. We're going to be training on the little pitch just next to the stadium. There's a game going on at the minute. It's all very odd. And unfortunately, the lights didn't work. Turned up to training, ready to train, and the lights for the AstroTurf did not work. So we had to use the light from the stadium, which was just next to the AstroTurf, to try and train. Trained, worked hard, tried to improve, regardless of the scenario, which is out of our control, trying to get better as a team. We then had a friendly just last night, which Dad came along to watch as well. I played the second half of that friendly, kept a clean sheet, made some good saves, distribution was on point, and I really enjoyed it. When you've had a bad game, you're itching to get out there again. You want to play the next day, you want to get it out of your system, you want to show people what you can do. So three days after, I was out again on the pitch, kept a clean sheet, performed well, back to what I want to be showing in terms of statistically, by keeping a clean sheet, but also maintaining that form and good performance level. But before I go, this is the first vlog that I've filmed since releasing episode one of series three, and your support and your feedback has 
blown me away. It really, really does mean the world to me and Johnny, and we can't wait to share Series 3 with you because I know it's going to be the best series of Keeping Goals yet. We do have some opportunities for you guys. We've started a Facebook group called the Keeping Goals Union. I want you guys to search for it on Facebook and come and join. As we've always said, we value your support so much and we want to give back to you. We want to create a Keeping Goals community a place where we can discuss things that happen on the blog, have conversations about topics that come up, a place where me and Johnny can answer your questions directly, talk to you, but most importantly, a place where we can help you on your own Keeping Goals journey. But that's it for this week's episode of Keeping Goals. Slightly different episode, a bit more of a chat, a bit more of a discussion about the mental side of goalkeeping, but I hope it brought you some value. Thank you, as always, for all your support. It means the world to us. Please like, please share, please subscribe to build that Keeping Goals community. Come and join the Facebook group if you haven't already, but thank you for your support this week. We'll speak to you in next week's episode of Keeping Goals. Keep chasing improvement this week. I'll speak to you in next week's episode. Thank you for watching. Speak to you in a bit.